my darlings. So I have been promising you all um, for a while that I would do a how-to. Um, I think they say balayage or whatever. I just call it like honey dip your hair. So I've been promising y'all that I would do that for a while now. And now I'm going to. So I've been coloring my hair now for about three years now. And I used to get it done at the salon in LA, the 901 salon, and they're really, really amazing. So if you're not brave, like I am, you should definitely go there. They've got some phenomenal girls um, who can color your hair and kind of do the same thing that I do. I just started doing it myself. I'm good at it. I know how to. I've done it for my friends. I've done it for my mom. And um, it saves you a lot of money because every time I go, it cost me like five or six hundred dollars. And I just started watching them as they would do it and be like, I can do this myself. So now I do. If you do it too much, it can ruin your hair. But the great thing about honey dip in your hair is you only have to do it once every six months and it just stays. Uh, we're just going to dive right into what I use. I use Frost and Glow. I've been using this for years. And I get the medium to dark brown hair color. Um, it's not as strong as the medium to light. Um, that'll really fry your hair. So I've been using this. It works great. You can get it at CVS. You can get it at Walmart, Target, um, any old little store. They, they carry it everywhere. So you're going to get a little pack of this stuff. And then you're going to get a little pack of this. This right here. And a cap. Don't use the cap. That's old school, okay? And then you get this little shampoo and conditioner in there. That's nice. That's nice. Then throw that little gift in there. So remember, frost and glow, darling. Use this stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. All right? Great. Okay. Um, this bathroom is a disaster. Nice. Okay. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm wearing my highlighter bleach shirt. I've got bleach stains all, all over it. So make sure it gets everywhere, my God. So make sure that you um, you wear something that you don't care about. I just always put this shirt on. And if you have carpet in your bathroom like we do in Colorado, we didn't choose that. We just moved in. It was like that. Put a towel that you don't care about on the floor so it doesn't get anywhere. This stuff will get everywhere, even the powder, and it'll die and it'll be a mess. I destroyed many towels that way and made Eric very mad. Okay. All right. So first you're going to put the powder in this little thingy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I had way too much coffee this morning, so I got the shakes. So I hope I don't mess anything up. So put the powder in this little plastic square. And then we're going to take this, which is the cream developer, shake, 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 shake. And you're going to put it, I'm sure you all know how to do this at home. I'm sure what you're waiting for is actually how I put it in my hair. But I just want to give everyone the step-by-step -step just in case you've never even done this by yourself at home. Now, don't get mad at me if this doesn't work out when you do it. Sometimes you just got to have a little touch to be able to do stuff like this. I've always been good at kind of hair and makeup and beauty stuff, and if I wasn't singing, I'd be like running my own salon or something. I just love hair and makeup and beauty, and I love doing hair for people. I love doing people's makeup. It just, I just love it, and I like making girls smile and making them happy after. Everyone should feel cute. Okay. So mix, 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 which is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Mix really well. So... <clears throat> You saw the cap. They usually want you to put a cap on and use this end to pull through. But that is such an old school look. That gives you stripes. We don't want stripes, do we? Um, where did that little thing go? Oh. So you see this? I forgot when I threw it away so dramatically. That in here, in the directions, they actually put little gloves and you should use the gloves. For sure. They're hidden in here. They're like stuck to the paper. So, here's one glove. 
number two, okay? So now you put the gloves on your hands, take your jewelry off because you don't want to get it dirty, okay? In my beautiful little mermaid jewelry box. Isn't that so cute? Alyssa Boniger gave that to me. So cute. Okay, so put the gloves on. Gloves are on. Now let's get down to it. I want y'all to really see what I'm doing here because I don't want anyone to mess it up and then I get these tragic, tragic Twitter stories or Instagram pictures that I ruined your life because I ruined your hair. So I'm going to brush my hair out. Okay. Now, you got to figure out how you like to part your hair. I do it all over the place, but I'm just going to do it where it's naturally falling today. And the key is don't put it on your roots. Just don't do it. Maybe if you want to do a couple up front, but just don't put it on your roots because that, that's, that's kind of defeats the whole purpose of what we're doing here. So what I'm going to do, it's going to freak everyone out because a lot of times you see them painting it on with the paint brushes at the salons. I use my fingers. So let's take this little piece right here because this could use a little honey loving. Let's use that little piece right there. I dip a little in my fingers and I just rub it on. Just like that. You can see. And don't go all the way to the top. But don't just all of a sudden put it here and then stop. You gotta, what I do is just kind of rub it through like that. That way it kind of fades into it. Okay? That's one piece. And we're gonna do that throughout. Let's do this piece up front. So the key is though is to um, start in the back and work your way to the front because you don't want to fry your front. Most people want to start in the front like I do. Um, but you want to start back here because this won't get as light as the front. Okay, so let's do it again. Little Got a little chunk here. I'm just going to paint it on there with my fingers. Uh-oh. It's another piece right there, all done. And remember, you want to put the most on the ends. So I'm sure some hairstylist is going to watch this and be like, oh, she's doing it so wrong, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying I'm doing this the right way and then I'm some hair goddess. I'm just showing you all what I do for myself. This is just what works for me. It may not work for everyone else. This is just what has always worked for my hair. So don't, I don't need some angry hair people coming on here and Common, commenting and being like, oh, she's doing it wrong and your technique is all wrong. Like, I get it. Thank you. Okay, so you're seeing, me, oh, seeing me do all this. So, see, I did, it, I did it wrong. I started going towards the front, which is tempting. But you don't really need as much towards the back, you know? This is a pretty big chunk, so I'm going to separate it. So again, you're just going to be dipping... Just like that. So hopefully you guys are getting the hang of it. Okay. So sometimes I feel like I can't touch as much. So I take one glove off, which is what I'm about to do. Um, I recommend you keep your gloves on just because you'll burn your skin. But sometimes I just can't feel exactly what I'm doing, so I get a little frustrated, and I just would rather burn my skin than mess up my hair. I'm just a very, I need to feel what's going on. Okay, so that's another piece. And so you just kind of do this when all the pieces that you want. Don't do really big chunks, that's not gonna help. It's just gonna make it look like you put a bunch of Clorox or whatever bleach chunks on your hair. I would ver do very light pieces. And I love this look because it just looks like you went out in the sun. When I was a little girl, my, my hair would naturally do this. And it would look naturally sun-kissed, um, which can look so cute and so pretty. It lightens it up. I used to uh, be obsessed with having really dark hair. 
I would I used to dye it black too and I was like 19 and 20 and it just did not it, I think I feel like it made me look really harsh I didn't think it worked that well um and so I went kind of back to basics when I was younger my hair used to be brunette with super sun-kissed look it's kind of like the Jennifer Aniston look back in the day when she was on Friends um she just had this gorgeous sun-kissed hair um around season six and seven if y'all remember oh it's my favorite look she just looked stunning with that hair of hers um so just keep painting keep oh yep keep painting it on hopefully no one's having any accidents at home right now i'm gonna grab this piece um, so I didn't want I don't want to do too much just because my hair is already pretty highlighted I just kind of want to touch up because it had grown out and it was starting to look really dark up top and um, I like it to look a little bit more honey than this um, Another thing to do is there's certain celebrities that have this look and If you want to see where they've done it go Google their images like Whitney Port from the from the hills she, her hair is fabulous and she kind of has this um honey dipped look herself and there's a couple of images of her online where you can really see specifically where she has gotten her hair height like where she highlighted it okay let's see what else we need so if you can see up close the pieces that i've been doing let's see if there's somewhere else I usually don't go in here, but if, there's, if you wear your hair up in a ponytail sometimes and you want a couple to, to show, let's see what I need. Um, I'll grab one of these guys, just in case. Okay. Maybe I just need to come up with my own hair bleach or something. Like an easier how-to. Because I just feel like people spend a fortune trying to get this. And this is so freaking easy. I don't understand who spend, would spend that kind of money. But if you just don't know how to do it, I get it, you know. But I feel like it's pretty darn easy. Maybe it's easy because I like I paint and stuff and I just know how to use my hands or something. I don't know. Okay. So I'm painting, painting, painting. God, I'm white. I need to get tan. <clears throat> Y'all watching that? Okay. So depending on what color your hair is, um, I think this works best on people who have medium brown to dark blonde hair. I think it looks the best. Um... I tried to biolage my sister's hair, Sydney, and it just didn't come out right. She's one of the very few, or it just didn't work. She has like jet black hair almost, really dark brown hair, and it just um, didn't come out right. Now I would have to like keep processing it over and over again. So uh, we just dyed it all back dark brown, it just didn't really work. But I've done my mom's hair before, and we have similar hair. We have similar, similar coloring, so it just kind of works out. So just keep doing that, and then um, whenever you feel like you've done enough or colored enough pieces, I do it up here. Because the bottom of my hair is already blonde from biologing it a long time ago, you don't really need to, but just to give you an example, I will take a piece from down here just to give you an idea because um, I totally forgot. I'm probably neglecting that. That's kind of the main thing that girls like to do. So for down here... I'm just kind of touching out my roots and I'm not going to like over fry my hair just to make this video but if you want go to the very bottom and just lightly you know put the the bleach on the ends just like that okay so let it sit there for like 10 or 15 minutes and then whenever you're done just wash it out so now that I have bleached all the pieces in my hair it's time to go wash it so go wash your hair wash it really well you can use the shampoo that they put in there, um, which I'll go ahead and do since it's probably meant for it. Scrub it, scrub it, scrub it, get all the stuff out, uh, put some conditioner, and possibly do a leave-in conditioner just so, you, you know, your hair can breathe a little, because this is damaging, unfortunately. So 
Um, maybe put a little leave-in conditioner, not not too much, but just enough, you know, to give it a little love. Um, so I'm gonna go wash it and then come back. So I've washed my hair and put some conditioner in it, but now we need to. Hold on. Okay. So it's all washed, but let's put a leave-in conditioner just to be safe. Where? Oh, here it is. It's on Eric's side. Go figure. So this is the stuff that I use, leave-in conditioner. And I just think it's good to do that after you process your hair so much, just to um, give it a little extra love, especially in the places where you put some more bleach. So, let's see how that looks. Can't really tell when it's wet. I think it came out well. Um, so, I've been using the Revlon Frost and Glow for years. I did try and cheated on it one time. I'm not going to tell you what product I used, but it messed it up and it wasn't good. And so that's why I just think that Frost and Glow is the way to go. Um, so now that my hair is wet, I'm gonna dry it. I'm gonna see how it turned out. So here's the thing. I always like to make sure I don't throw out the bleach right after, just in case you missed a couple of spots and it's got that sort of like spotty look. All you need to do if that happens is take a little bit more and just run it through and let it sit on it and then just wash and um, just shampoo and, and blow dry just that part over again. You don't need to um, do your whole head, but that's just in case. So, so let's go ahead and start blow drying it. drying it the color is nice it's, yeah it's looking good so now that it's still a little damp I'm gonna put some of this thickening cream in because I like it to look extra thick thicker the better darling thicker the better so put a little bit in there I think actually Jennifer Aniston is the spokesperson for this stuff right now living proof anything she does you gotta do you know I'm putting it in and I don't like to put too much because um, my hair gets super greasy fast. Thank goodness for sh for the dry shampoo stuff. Okay, so it's in. Let's get back to blow. <laughs> kind of the color roots still dark and it just kind of fades into this nice little honey blonde color so easy to do takes probably an hour tops to do the whole shebang here's it parted down the middle now I need to style it and everything because this is just blown out but you could just see how easy it was give you an up-close look right so hopefully this video helped. Um, it's so easy to do. And see, when you put your hair in a ponytail, you're back to being brunette. It's dark, and then your ponytail's just funny. Yeah. So I hope it helped. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it helps you to have beautiful, gorgeous hair. Now, for our next video, I'll be teaching Eric how to dance. <laughs>